What is up? My new microphone just came in and I'm pretty stoked to be using it because it's for my Nikon, which is exactly what I'm using right now. Right now I'm actually talking without the microphone plugged in because I kind of wanted to give an example of the difference in sound quality. I really hope to be able to use this camera a little bit more for vlogging, at least while at home, because it has the ability to kind of zoom. Here we go. And I'm hoping that it actually has a better sound quality. Let's go ahead and uh, test out this mic. I've never used it before, so I actually have no idea how it's actually gonna turn out. So I just plugged it in and I'm really, really hoping that it actually has better quality. I'm walking back and forth under the fan to try to get a little bit more understanding of how it might work. Kind of walking around, have a little bit of a echo right here in the hallway, but we shall see. Kinda, I'm really hoping it works out well. And let's try it without the wind sock. And this is the wind sock. And so right now it's not on back under the, the fan. Going back out here. Let's see what it's like in this little hallway area. Dogs are eating. Kind of might be able to hear the crunching. It's pretty cool. Really like it. Second test that I'm doing is I'm running, I'm using my Joby stand, which is what I generally used to use on my GoPro before I got the actual GoPro handle stick the gopro makes anytime that i switch between hands the gopro you could hear it's making like a crunchy noise or if i even just kind of move the joby around it would make a a really weird, weird crunchy noise the next test that i want to do is i'm doing the switch hands and i'm trying to see if you can actually hear me when i'm switching hands if i can completely switch over to my nikon for vlogging that'd be phenomenal i mean it is a little big that's what she said <laughs> It's a little slightly heavier. If this works and I have better audio quality for like the actual communication piece, I can then use my GoPro for other aspects of the vlogging. I'm switching hands, going back and forth, checking it out, checking it out. The last test that I wanna do, I wanna set up all of my cameras. I'm gonna do it on the stove, record all at the same time. While I'm talking, I'll actually be switching between the different audios to be able to determine which one actually sounds better while stationary. I'll be using my Nikon, my iPhone, and my GoPro Hero 5 Black to do that particular test. I got all three devices recording right now. Got my iPhone, Nikon, and GoPro. This is where I do a lot of my videos from inside the kitchen. So we have all the different sound around. So first we'll uh, test out the iPhone. It's on the Osmo Mobile right now. And I really love the Osmo Mobile. It's super stable. I can, has a joystick on it so I can move it around. It's pretty good, pretty good device. The only issue that I have with recording on my phone is the camera is right here. And I like to look right in the middle. So it kind of looks like I'm not looking at you know, my audience. So that's kind of the only issue that I really actually have recording with my iPhone. I really do enjoy it for you know a majority of my original videos in the beginning. That's what I, I used. And then I got right here, this is my Nikon. This is definitely the best camera I own. I absolutely love this camera. And I'm loving it even more now that I got the, the Rode mic for it. It's currently on the, the Joby. As a stands though, this is still right now my new favorite vlogging camera. It is perfect for everything that I'm gonna need. And I can go from vlogging using my Joby stand, which also you know, obviously it's a tripod and I can pinch it down and then I can flip it around and use it for photos while I'm out and about. So it's actually just overall really good. But at the same time, back to my iPhone, really good as well. It's, um, I always have my phone on me. So, I mean, why not? I can actually do recording photos with that. And lastly, this is my GoPro Hero 5 Black. Also, this is a great camera. Uh, I've been primarily using this one for since I got it, let's say back in July. Before that, I was using the GoPro Hero 3, Hero 3 Black. Now, one of the things that I was talking about earlier was the sound. I know you heard that, and I know that you're gonna hear this, and it makes crunchy noises whenever I move my hand around on it. Apparently, that's just something that happens with GoPros. Regardless, it's a waterproof camera. It's also durable, and it's very tiny, so I can always take it with me. I always have my GoPro on me. No matter where I'm at, I always have my GoPro with me. I'm not always recording. I probably should be, but I always have it with me. But this is my favorite for quality, for audio, 
for the ability to switch over and go to 23 megapixel photos. I mean, overall, this is a better camera. My GoPro, great, does 12 meg megapixel cameras, but can record in 4K. Can also do like time lapses and everything else, uh, slow motion video. And then phone, just awesome. Uh, I mean, it's got time lapse and slow motion built into the video capability. So, I mean, they all have their purposes. I mean, it's really hard to choose which one I want to use depending on the situation. And that's basically, you know, something that I've learned is that it's not always the technology, it's the best technology for the situation. Anyways, that is all I have. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day. If you like the video, click the little thumbs up button. If you have a comment about the video, put it in the comments. And if you would like to see more of my shenanigans, click the little subscribe button. And if you wanna get notifications whenever I upload a video, click the little bell. I will see you in the next video.